Have you ever felt stuck before? Like what worked in the past just hasn't been working for you recently or maybe it's not getting you the results that you want at, or even at the rate that you want? How do you overcome that? My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. In today's video is what causes entrepreneurs to get stuck and how do you overcome it? So let's jump in because I want to make sure that if you're a high performing entrepreneur that you take away what's in this video to make a simple shift. And we'll keep it short and sweet today because I was just actually on a call with a client. It was either earlier today or yesterday evening, forget which one. But this client, you know, was in this business, they just felt completely stuck. Right? Like they just they didn't know how to overcome where they were. What was working wasn't working, or what was working wasn't working anymore. And what happens in these situations, if we were to kind of peel back the layer of what's going on there. <clears throat> is we have this thought process. We have this way of thinking that, look, it needs to be done this way and that's the way it needs to be done. That's what allows us to have success, which means if that's true, what you're doing is going to cause you to have success, then the opposite is also true. The inverse of that is also true, is if you don't do that, then you won't be successful. And that's not always true, right? Like that's like if you were to say, hey, if I'm if you're in Texas and you wanted to go to Miami and you said, hey, I got to take a 10 a.m. flight from Texas to Miami. Well, that's not the only way to get there, right? You could fly a private jet. You could take a boat. You could ride a bike. You could, you know, you could walk. You could run. There's so many different ways. So sometimes we get so black and white and I find this with the high performing entrepreneurs like this is what's worked for me. This is how I scaled. This is how I made my millions. Awesome. But that's not the only way that you can make money. The only way you can make millions, the only way you could scale, maybe the way you're doing it is actually limiting your you to your true potential. So <clears throat> a lot of times it's kind of like this. For example, clients come in and everything is a switch. It's either on or off. It's either black or white. And it doesn't, life isn't always black or white. It's not always an on off switch. So one of the things I help clients do is shift is how you overcome feeling stuck is you don't say it's either this way or the highway on or off black or white. What you do is you think of it more of a, a car radio dial, right? Or even shifting the gears in a vehicle. Right, you learn to shift gears. Sometimes, you know, if you're a parent like I am, you sometimes you got to be in sixth gear with your kids. You're, you know, you're running around, you're playing, you're having fun. But then, if you do that, if you're in sixth gear when it's time to go to bed, good luck. <laughs> right, good luck. That's not going to happen. You have to shift gears and get really good at it if you want to be successful. So how you avoid getting stuck is you gotta start thinking, it's not an on off switch or black or white, it's a shifting gears thing. If you can learn to shift gears, okay, hey, you know what, we did this to scale, that might have been you know, fourth gear. But if we really wanna go from you know, 10 million to 100 million, we need to shift gears into sixth gear. And then, hey, if we want to be able to keep that, you know, five, or excuse me, if we want to be able to keep that eight or even nine figure business, but also not have to work so much in the business, how do we shift gears on how we're putting time in? How do you leverage? How do you delegate? So the biggest shift and how you overcome it is not that it's black or white on off. It's how do I shift gears appropriately in the pro proper moments? Because look, you can shift gears all day long driving down the street, which is cool. But if you shift in a sixth gear, going to a stop sign, ugh, right? But also, if you shift in a second gear, you know, coming out of the gate of, you know, a stoplight, good job. So you gotta know when to shift gears. So many people get caught up in that it's one way. And so that means the opposite would be wrong. Where I like to look at it is, they're all right. There's so many paths to success, but when are you shifting? Are you shifting gears? Are you able to downshift? And this is what high performing entrepreneurs, they get so caught into six gear. They never stop and shift downshift into other gears. And that's why they eventually can lead to burnout or they, they're, they find that like, <clears throat> I don't want to do this business anymore. And it's not that they don't want to do the business. It's just that they're unfulfilled because they're in six gear all the time. Eventually the engine's going to get hot. You're going to get overtired and and eventually it blows and you're like, screw it, I don't want this business anymore. So it's not black or white. It's not on or off. 
It's are you in the right gear at the right time? Can you shift gears appropriately? A lot of people, they go to work all day, they're in sixth gear, and then they come home to their kids and they wanna shift down in the first gear or they wanna shut the switch off. And then they they neglect their family, their kids, their spouse. And it's not that, it's like, okay, hey, maybe you're in sixth gear all day, but maybe we need to drop it to third gear. And when you get home and you connect and then, hey, around dinner, you shift to second gear. And as time bedtime comes, you start shifting into first gear. Are you good at shifting? How you get over, how you overcome getting stuck is to be, to think of it in gears and not in switches. You do that, my friend, where you can turn the volume up or you could turn the volume down. It's really up to you. When you can do that, you won't find yourself being stuck. You'll find yourself overcoming that and going to new levels, having more fulfillment, and honestly, being more successful. And I don't care if this is in your relationship, your business, your health, there's time to shift gears in your health, right? You're at the gym. You need to be in sixth gear. If you're in second gear at the gym, mm -mm, not gonna get the result, right? But if you're in sixth gear when you're with your partner, being intimate, sometimes you might need to downshift, especially if you know it's that love making, right? You're not gonna be in sixth gear. That's kind of like a one night stand is in sixth gear, maybe. So anyway, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. But look, be don't be an on off switch. Be like a radio dial where you can turn things up, turn it down, or shifting gears, where you can shift from sixth gear down to third, down to first. Whatever's gonna warrant the appropriate moment in that situation or environment. You do that, you'll overcome that feeling of being stuck. And remember, it's only a feeling. We start to shift that feeling by shifting gears. So with that, look, I know you guys found value from this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure that you subscribe. We're coming out with three videos a week, so don't miss them. We wanna, or should I say, not don't miss them. Make sure you get them by turning on that notification and then also comment. Let me know, what did you think? Did that Was that a simple mindset shift for you or what? It's pretty simple yet extremely profound. So I'd love to hear how did you shift gears? What impact did it make in your life, your business, your relationships, your health, whatever that might be? Let me know, I'd love to hear it. But with that, my name's Joe Mafu, Master Life by Design. Go out and make today count. See you guys.